can't see you. <laughs> no. I'm buried. Today on Tracy's Basement, it's our free comic book day haul. I'm buried. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we are getting around to our free comic book day haul. We're a little bit behind because of Jason's eye what? and my seasonal eyes? allergies. And my eye's not all messed up anymore. No. Now I'm just... He's not wearing the pirate yeah. patch. Now I'm just regular insane looking. <laughs> <laughs> but as you guys know, last weekend was free comic book day. We did go out. We got a bunch of comic books. But we got a bunch of other stuff yeah, as because well. Because it's important on free comic book day to support your local comic shops because they don't get those comics for free like a lot of people assume yeah, they no. actually pay for those too so it's nice if you actually leave with some retail stuff too to make it really worth it for them to make it a really good retail day for those stores so they keep wanting to do it big every year and it looked like and it was a pretty good day at it was, it was, it was busy it yeah. was busy it was very busy especially for, the first place we went yeah, there was just a, a line of down the road a little, waiting a little, to get in a little area in nova scotia they had great they put on good sales too though and that's how you get people in there free comic book yeah, day you gotta have awesome. the good sales too and they had a king so, yeah. <laughs> if you donated to the spca you got to take more than the 10 limit so. so I'm not going to go through all the free comic books we got because I think we got one of every option that was available. Yeah, we had a bunch. Uh, we went to a few places. So. But we got a whole bunch of comic books. There's a couple on the top here that I was hoping we would find. We got Pokemon for Adriana. We got Invader Zim and Adventure Time. One of those. This one's for me. That's for Adriana. <laughs> it's for Adriana. We got Star Wars. We got Doctor Who. Transformers. Yeah. I was I hoping to find one. that one for Overwatch Jason. And Power Rangers! Shattered right. Grid. Gotta check out Shattered Grid. Superhero so. Girls for Adriana and the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I just love that I found that. It's yeah, that's cool. It's Cthulhu. How, I didn't know that that was one of the uh, options. And it's got all right, so yeah. So, so there's a million comics. Uh, <laughs> so so right. many comics. Let's move into the stuff we got. <laughs> and uh, actually, we got a freebie. Uh, the first place you went to, if you spent more than $30, you got a couple freebies. And where's the other freebie? There it is there. <laughs> uh, but the first freebie was this little... Hulk it's Hero little Clicks. Hulk Hero Clicks. Uh, I've never played Hero Clicks. I have no idea I don't know how it works Hero or anything Clicks. like that. But I've seen a few of the little figures. I think we got a couple of figures in a sub box one time. I don't but remember. <laughs> this is the little Hulk one from Thor Ragnarok, and it is. It's actually kind of cool. It's so. actually super well done for this tiny little figure. Like there's actually a lot of little details and stuff in it. He's got the big hammer and everything, and the Spartan helmet stuff. So. That's pretty cool. That's pretty Adriana neat. found that and it was free, so that was pretty awesome. We also got the free comic book day Harley Quinn little bombshells. Yeah. So this is what we really wanted. Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, we love Cryptozoic stuff. We love their bombshells. <laughs> we love their knockouts. They're doing uh, great stuff with these lines. And I love Mima Harley. And there's the little Hi. free comic book day Harley Quinn in Here her is. blue and red. That is super, super cute. I love that so much. Very nice little paint scheme, and she's got her little pop gun and everything with the uh, little, you know, cap in it. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cute. Yeah. Love it. I really love dig the these. Job. I love these, and uh, you can't get enough Harley. We might have a few too many Harleys at this point, but, Maybe. you know, it's the bombshells. We're weak on the <laughs> little bombshells. So, they're so cute. We, we got them. <laughs> All right, so moving on to some other stuff. Uh, we actually picked up some random old comics uh, at, at the thing. Uh, a bookstore, actually. And, uh, yeah, these and are <laughs> some of these. Uh, one of these is real dumb. Uh, I <laughs> grabbed the Popeye for our buddy Carrie, uh, Carrie Tunes on YouTube. He loves the Popeye. And I picked up the Slimer for uh, Amy's little fella, our friend Amy's little fella, who loves Ooh, Ghostbusters. And because it was a 3-4 deal, I got myself <laughs> new kids on the block. Disgusting. Is, is that not terrible? the best and worst thing of all time? <laughs> I actually love it. I love it. I saw that previously at the store, and I didn't get it, but I found these two for our friends, so I was getting it. <laughs> Went back, because it was the right stuff. So, We've also picked up this little dorb, because it was on clearance for a few bucks. So, you know, the dorbs go on clearance all the time. Uh, I'm hit and miss on the dorbs. I'm not a dorbs hater, like many people are. 
Just don't collect a whole bunch. Yeah, it's the same thing I say with pops. Uh, if you go overboard, your collection becomes boring. But you add a few here and there, and it's pretty good. And we got Orko because it's Masters of the Universe, and we love Masters of the Universe stuff. And he's super cute. Yeah, he actually has a little bit better, you know, more interesting mold yeah. than the standard. He, he translates uh, pretty well because he's got the big hat and everything with the ears sticking out the top. And he just, he's, he looks right with that little cute little face and everything, yeah. and he's got his little staff, and he's just, he's adorable. It's an excellent little paint job with the bright colors and everything, and yeah. the O on his shirt. That was super cool. I thought he was adorable, right. so. For a few bucks, we definitely had to get him. <laughs> and you picked up these for yourself. These are pretty fantastic figures. Yes. And you were a big fan of Borderlands, especially Claptrap. But, yeah, I which, love which Claptrap. Which people are like, love? Claptrap, or they absolutely hate so Claptrap. So many people hate on Claptrap. I know. I think like he's, he, great. he's so funny. I, I think love he's cool. him. So. I think he's got like an excellent sense of humor, and it just amuses me to just sit there and listen to him talk. All right, so let's get these guys open. So he actually already went through all of this yeah. <laughs> and went to another item. But... Actually, unboxed the next item too. <laughs> it turns out the camera crapped out on us. The while camera we just were... stopped filming, and we didn't notice. So. Yeah. We have to rewind a little bit. So let's try this again. <laughs> let's try showing you guys this again. Even though this will be the first time for you. We've done this before. <laughs> so we got my two Borderlands figures. I got Tina and Handsome Jack. Tina has a wicked amount of detail in her. Lots of little accessories hanging off her. The dynamite and everything. The bunnies on her. The mask on her head there. She's gotta have the Psycho Bandit mask. I so, like the so Psycho cool. Bandit mask. I love her the most. She has a wicked amount of detail and she's just like ridiculously fun the outfit is crazy handsome jack is a little more subdued because he has like ah. the the uh, more handsome you know style of clothing he's trying to look cool i lost Jason a spare head throwing stuff oh man there's all this <laughs> extra junk here so it's a spare head don't worry about he it he does so. come with a spare head with uh the weird face paint on him there will be pictures but his regular face he has that crazy jagged weird with a little like Whatever those metal things are on the side of his head, he's like he's trying to look handsome, but he's kind of creepy. I like his leather, leather, leather face face. Yeah, <laughs> so, basically. <laughs> future, future leather face. He comes with the wicked huge yellow gun. Very very cool. And whatever the hell that thing. I don't is, know what this thing is. I didn't get that far in the game. If it's that important, I, I don't, don't know. recall that at all. <laughs> some kind of blaster gunny thing, or is no it like idea. a, a megaphone or I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> but and Tina comes with the huge axe that is like as tall as her, which is awesome. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> I love the uh, cell shading on this. That's, that's, we mentioned the cell shading. We that forgot to mention the cell shading again. the original. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> we go. Hey. Really cool design with they it's actually hard, did the cell shading. It's hard to do this job. twice. We don't there know really what we is, covered or not. You can never remember what you said so the first time. So I'm trying right? to, it's, it's not as big a surprise <laughs> to us now uh, with the noticing and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, one thing I will touch on uh, that I mentioned that we already filmed. Uh, is the, with these McFarlane figures, and I said it's the same thing with if you lean back here, Jareth the back Jareth up. back there that we've showed up uh, a while back. Um, these Marley, McFarlane figures, they're gorgeously detailed, they're nicely colored, they're a pain in the butt to get freestanding in a pose or something yeah. though. Uh, they're these very, ones are a little better because they have the little bit of articulation. No, so I know, I had, that's, that's the problem with them. Uh, I'm going to counteract your point with exactly what you're saying. The articulation in them is exactly what makes them hard to stand up. I actually found they're that very they, loose because Jareth had no articulation in his lower half, so you can't stop him from leaning forward. Yeah, but the thing with these is like, see, like these, look how tippy it is. You know what I mean? Uh, it's the little little hinges, and if you want to get them in some kind of a pose, they do flop yeah, a little when, bit. When I had a problem with her. So that's one thing I will say. Unless, if you want to get them just freestanding, kind of straight up, it's not too, too bad. But, but you there you go, get see? Them pose, like I show you there, even freestanding straight up. He's, he's a little worse than her. So, like, top heavy. I like them, I love them, uh, they're great. Uh, but I will say, if I had to nitpick a problem with them, I will say with these McFarlane figures, they do have issues. They're yeah. fussy to stand up. They're very I fussy to McFarlane stand up. I love McFarlane stuff. But, but I, almost nothing I have from McFarlane stands up properly. Yeah, it, it, it's fussy to stand up. So that's my only complaint with them. Uh, but other than that, they're fantastic figures. And you got them 50% off on sale at uh, local NPC in yeah. Sydney. So that very, was very fantastic. Cool. Fantastic Love sale. It. Fantastic <laughs> find. You loved them full price. So when they were half price, you were like, I got to get them. So. <laughs> now, this was my big find of the day. 
uh, and it's already open and uh, unboxed, and I have everything yeah. put together because <laughs> the camera screwed up. Uh, that was but, when we noticed. <laughs> but I got the... This is not a figure. This is the Friday the 13th accessory kit. Uh, it was on an accessory kit. It was on 25% off. This is by NECA to go with their ultimate line of Jason figures. Uh, part 3, part 4, and part 6. Mix and match if you want, <laughs> but they're the ones that match the movies. Yeah. Uh, and I thought it was really cool for taking pictures and, and to be good for shelf displays uh, and stuff in the horror section of the back room there. Jason's going to be playing with Instagram yeah. soon. So uh, I was really excited to pick this up. I think it's going to be cool. I'll have some pictures in the video. Now, I grabbed a random Jason uh, during the cut, <laughs> during the missing cut uh, of the stuff. Uh, I don't have Ultimate 6 Jason, which is a pain in the butt, so I can't really truly recreate the underwater scene of him with the rock which is what it comes with it also comes with the lamp post and uh from part three where he shoots the spear and it's on the <laughs> wire in the cheap 3d it's one of the best things yeah. ever and it comes with the crystal lake sign so it all went together pretty easy uh tight pegs very tight pegs. some of the pegs were tight this one no problem this one slid right together uh some of the pegs on the other two were tight but this is the sign I love how it actually like hangs. Actually. Yeah, it actually hangs. It's on a little hook so you can swing it. I'm not going to really swing it on your display, but it is a cool little touch. Um, it came with the dock. You put this one together yep, while the, I was putting the other two the together. The on that one were a little bit tighter, but they, they went together fine. Yep. There was no issue with them or anything. So they have the but, little dock with the big lamppost and a little bit of shore there. So that's super cool. Very I said cool. that's where he's, he's standing with the spear gun, <laughs> so I'm going to have to play with that too. Uh, and this is my favorite of the set. Which, like I said, is is sad because I don't have the Ultimate <laughs> Six figure, so I have well, to. I'm we'll going to get it. We'll hunt it down. Yeah. I planned on buying it eventually anyway, but I have Ultimate Three Jason and Ultimate Four Jason, but I just have the regular cult classics Part Six Jason. So I want to get the Ultimate Six Jason. Right now, I have him with just random Part Three Jason. Now this is the rock that Tommy Jarvis ties him to. Whoops. I plopped it out. Uh, this is the rock that Tommy Jarvis ties him to at the end. I didn't have those pegs in far enough there. Now, you know me. You know me and pegs, Marie. Marie's going to bring it up again. Here comes the comments. I, the, the woman will never let me survive a, a right awful pegging. But, <laughs> but anyway, it's a random uh, Jason 3 I have on here. So he's not the right Jason. Uh, he just goes in. He's got this little clear stand here. And, and you just kind of stick it up under your yeah, shirt. Yeah, you noticed that. Hand. I didn't know his shirt folded out, but uh, his shirt folds out a little bit, so you just kind of slide it under his shirt, and that's what holds him up. Uh, and, of course, the chain with the sign down the bottom there wraps up around his neck. Now, this is when Tommy Jarvis ties him to the rock at the end of the sixth movie. I don't have the right Jason, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, don't if, know if this is going it. to work. Because there's no uh, give in the chain. It's no. the exact size to be or able to fist. you might have to take the head off. So I'm going to yeah, take his head off. That'll work. <laughs> put the chain around. And, and then, then never get pop the head, the head back, back on. on. But uh, yes, I will. It's not so bad. So I'm pretty sure I've changed this head before. So the peg shouldn't be too bad. Because I've taken pictures of this guy before. Um, but there we go. That went, in, go. That went in nice and easy. Like I said, once you... The neck of the pegs are... are they tend to be tight at first, but yeah. once you change but, it a couple times, it's usually fine yeah, after that. They loosen that. up a bit and they get more comfortable. Yeah. But normally, this is where the Jason 6 Jason would be hanging down like that, or he'd be scrimmaging around his neck like at the end of the movie. Or you could even That's have him good. reaching up for Tommy if they'd make a Tommy, but they won't make any survivors. I mean, Tommy Jarvis is high demand. Come on. Even so. Adriana knows who he is. Yeah, she called him John Tavares at one time. I was like, no, no, honey, he plays for the Islanders. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's super cool. The, that is a wicked idea for an yeah, accessory. The chain just pegs into a little hole here that's behind this lock. The, yeah, so. it's got the little lock there. Very cool. So. And I love, too, how the sign, they have the paint that's blocking out Crystal Lake, and they wrote blood. It's closed. <laughs> because, well, yeah, Camp Blood. Uh, it's also called Camp forest green in mm. this movie uh and then that's just completely forgotten about uh for the rest of the movies because continuity no, isn't sense. that important to friday the 13th it's about a guy in a hockey mask who goes around and you know smacks the heck out of teens right until they're dead so it's just i don't know 
So I thought it was a really cool accessory set. I'm going to have the pictures to show them off. Of course, uh, the spear gun dock, the Camp Crystal Lake sign, and of course my favorite, the rock with the uh, extra little clear pole here that elevates Jason. I just have to get the, the, right pro the proper figure. I'm going to try it with my cult classics Jason, but I don't think the shirt folds out on that one. I think it's yeah, just a maybe solid. Not. That one might be a yeah. little bit more solid. And, and the, the older one. Yeah, the old cult classics, they didn't have the articulation of these ultimate figures. These ultimate figures are are far superior in, in every way imaginable. <laughs> so I'm going to replace it with the ultimate Jason 6 Jason. But as for now, just to show it off, uh, there's Jason 3. So Very wicked there. idea. And lots of pictures forthcoming. Yeah, that's going to be super cool. <laughs> I've seen so many pictures of people putting this uh, with the Jason 6 in like aquariums yeah. and stuff like that. It's just super... Uh, it's super rad looking. <laughs> it's rad. That's how I'm going to describe it. It's super rad. Who <laughs> so, says rad? <laughs> these movies are based in the 80s, so leave me alone. In, and I they, watched they most of them in the rad 90s. in the 80s? <laughs> hey, man. The Power Glove is so bad. So... You know, <laughs> come on, the wizard. So that has nothing to do with this. So that was that. Oh, and there is one more thing uh, I forgot because I wasn't going to give it to you yet because it's supposed to be added to your Mother's Day gifts. But you, you know, you knew that. What are you laughing at? Don't <laughs> pretend you're surprised. I don't like that. Come on. I'm not pretending. I just find it fun. Don't try to act if that's what you're trying I'm to do. I just find it fun. I get the coolest Mother's Day gifts. Yeah. So uh, this was one. This goes with your Mother's Day gifts. But I finally found you uh, a Piccolo figure. <laughs> so you've been wanting Piccolo in the collect more Piccolo in the collection for a while. Uh, we don't have very much Piccolo. Well, no, they don't make so as much Piccolo. We got like stuff. the figure at zero stature, and that's about it. Well, he became so irrelevant after so long. But uh, yes, uh, I found this at Atomic. And uh, in Sydney, Sydney River, and uh, battle damaged. Pickup. Original originally wanted sixty four ninety five for it, and I wasn't going to do that, but it was marked down on clearance for twenty bucks. I was like, heck yeah, this is a classic. Uh, Almost Dragon. twenty bucks. Yeah, wow, well, it goes with your other stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is a classic <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. It is. Uh, it is it's very cool. It's not like I'm, I'm ashamed to almost take this one out because it's got such a cool round uh, face on it, though. But I am going to dig it out here. For you to show off to everybody, but, but even though you're not supposed to cool have it. But it's cool packaging. You're not supposed to have it. So, <laughs> you're being saucy. <laughs> did you ever notice, I don't mean this is to be mean or nothing like that, this is just an observation, but did you ever notice that most of the people who worry to death about packaging condition on things collect the cheapest junk? Like the cheapest crap? You know what I mean? That's not to be mean, like, and the stuff, <laughs> stuff goes up oh, on yeah. value, but like, okay, like, I just said something. Like, name one Hot Toys or Sideshow collector that has a big stack of boxes. Yeah. Nobody, I was, I was right? just going to say, you don't see people keeping No, it's, it's always the people <laughs> buying, like, $10 figures or, like, Funko Pops or stuff like that. They're the ones that are all worried about the box condition and stuff. You know what I mean? Because they're trying to buy $10 figures and flip them. That's what everybody's collecting them for. Okay, cool. So it just folds out. Very and, odd packaging. Oh, but you do have to damage the oh, packaging. Oh, it's carded. So, it's carded on the back. I'm going to get this out and i just realized we forgot to show off a couple things so oh, show those nice. off very right quick while i get those <laughs> out so. we did get a couple of pins and buttons that i forgot to mention uh at my secret identity in sydney they were collecting for two charities and they had pins and stuff to give away so we have a caleb's courage pin this is a local charity i believe it has to do uh with um cancer collecting for cancer and we got a Star Wars Adventures pin. They gave that out with the Caleb's Courage pin. And we got two actual enamel pins. So one of them is the bat symbol. Very, very cool. Gotta love you, Batman. And one is a very neat looking Spider Gwen. I really like that one. I like the color of it. Yeah, it's like that bright. one's nice. It, it looks kind of, it's got a bit of an 80s feel. Yeah. <laughs> because of the bright pink. That everything. one's super nice. So, like. very, very cool. Oh. Yay. <laughs> That was a freaking nightmare to get out, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think Jason actually had an aneurysm to hang it about. <laughs> what a stupid, stupid packaging. It's just stupid. This is why I love anybody who does collector-friendly packaging. Like, yes. like Boss Fight Studios <laughs> with their Bucky O'Hare figures. Best packaging That's ever. doing it right, all right? You have the option to display it carded. And you have the option to display it loose. And it doesn't affect the packaging whatsoever. That... That's, I mean, granted, they're from 
17 years ago. So it cut them some slack. You know, collector-friendly packaging wasn't huge, a huge yeah. thing back then. But still, that was stupid. That was stupid, and I hated it. But I love the Piccolo. This is super cool. <laughs> so it is battle damaged, of course. He's got, like, the clothes are all ripped up and everything, which is really what makes it. He's it's a got... frustration beer. <laughs> he's all torn up and got holes and everything, and he's got, like, patches of dirt everywhere all along the ripped parts and, like, on his knees and everything. He's a little bit uh, articulate, like he's got the moving joints in the... Oop, there's... He still has some of the tie wraps <laughs> and, you know, stuff on him, but... Oh well. His <laughs> knees and shoulders and elbows and stuff kind of move, his head moves a little bit, but he's more or less supposed to be in this pose yeah, with he's, the hand out. He's battle-damaged Piccolo. And he's got, like, all the scratches and scuff marks and everything. There's a little bit of blood, the pink, bright pink blood on his chest there, and he's got a little bit of a scowl he's with his little... Yeah. Antenna coming down. Purposely <laughs> dirty. His face is a little off. His but face this is, is a little. Bit it's off. an old. Like I think these are by Jacks. Specific. Jack specific. <laughs> Jack specific. I'm not quite <laughs> sure, uh, but they're older figures. So this, you know, the the super photorealistic detail yeah. and stuff wasn't a common <laughs> thing uh, back then. But, but they uh, did a really good job on the clothing. I it's, like the, the all the rips and tears and waves and everything, folds and everything. They all really that matters is that. it's a cool piece. It's a unique piece. It's a yeah. nice, neat piece for the collection. It's not something that's on everybody's shelf. So it's nice. It's cool. It's, cool. it's unique. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it that's, does come with the little that's pretty little plastic stand. Uh, the stand is, it, is it's just very cheap. Thin I, I will say the stand. Thing. The stand is pathetic. It's yeah. just flimsy like paper I don't thing, even plastic. really know if it's really meant for out of the package. <laughs> like it well, it's got a peg on us. Yeah, I mean, right? Because I got the peg in there. So it is a stand. So that stand is pathetic. Yeah. But the main thing is, like, I'm not reviewing a toy from 17 years ago <laughs> as if it's some brand new company. Company, learn from this. Learn from your mistakes. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a cool figure. So. I love it. I love all the battle, battle damage and the dirt and everything. The paint job is really cool. And of so. course... It's Piccolo. I love Piccolo. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. We don't don't have a ton of Piccolo representation no. of, of in all the, of the Dragon Ball uh, stuff. Things. We have the least Piccolo. Out of now, there. Bam Presto has got these uh, two figures from the original Dragon Ball coming out. The, the statue figures, like I have, like the DXFs and stuff. Uh, and one is when he went by Ma Junior at the end of the tournament saga. Him and Goku at the end of that. So. Might look into getting us those. Yeah. I can have the Goku <laughs> and you can have the Piccolo. Because uh, they were super cool. And like you guys know how much I rave about Bam Presto's <laughs> Dragon Ball figures. Those They so do an much. amazing job on those. <laughs> and they're affordable. So, But yeah, this, guy's re this guy was a really cool pickup. It's always cool finding something awesome and, and retro from back in the day. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to like just... You know, it's nice to get the new stuff, but like a lot That's, of the new stuff is so samey, well, and yeah, everyone exactly. has it. Some of the, so, a lot of the older stuff has its own different yeah. style. It's got it, its own looks, flavor it to it. Yeah, you know? pops out a little bit. Mi on the mix, mix in some old with your new. It's got a great flavor to it uh, to add to your collection. It really adds some uniqueness, especially <laughs> if it's something you grew up with. Definitely look into adding some of that old stuff, and you can sometimes you can find it really cheap if you don't mind it being loose and stuff. So. <laughs> But yeah. I am super in love with him. I'm yeah. super in love with these. I'm in love with pretty much everything. Over the moon! Wait. <laughs> well, he blew up the moon. He did. He did. He's, he's pretty cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> we had an excellent free comic book day. Giant stack of free comic books. But also some other little freebies and some things we picked up because they were on sale and some awesome stuff. We had an excellent day all there together. Is. Yeah, it was a great, uh, great holiday. So yeah. very, very cool stuff. A lot of different stuff. Wide uh, variety of things. Today. New kids on the block comic <laughs> kind of puts a real, real downer, real downer. Actually, I think that's, that's awesome. It's so cheesy. It's awesome. You know, I love cheesy stuff. I love when people buy something that's just oddball and adds it to their collection. Like I said, there's so many collections that are very samey nowadays that when somebody buys something oddball, I'm like, subscribe, yeah. <laughs> subscribe. Like I subscribe to anybody who does oddball on, stuff. It, it so. goes so well with the gaming stuff and the anime stuff and the horror movie stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're very really, eclectic. You're very eclectic. Actually, I am extremely eclectic. Yes. I, I am so eclectic, it's almost a disease. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, 
Let us know what you thought of our free comic book day haul. Let us know if you went out for free comic book day. What did you get? Did you get the comics that you were looking for? Did you buy anything else while you were out there? Let us know in the comment section below. I've got like a million messages to catch up on. Well, this video <laughs> took so long because the yeah. camera and... Uh, I'm literally <sighs> getting messages all day. It's, it's great though. because it's, uh, it's all awesome people like to talk to. Oh, I got one from Nick. Yeah, we just did the pirate video. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't want to hear about my personal phone life. Jason's wandering <laughs> so, off on tangents again. Let I've us know. I've been having beer all day. In the comment section below. Give us a talk. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from TB on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye!